Hi, I'm Joel Friedlander from thebookdesigner.com and Book Design Templates. And what I'd like to do today is give you a little walkthrough of our brand new Adobe InDesign book templates. These are really cool and they're going to save you a tremendous amount of time while also allowing you to create a really beautifully typeset industry standard book interior. They're particularly great for print, although we can also make ebooks from them. But I'm not going to give you an instructional video today. What I want to do is just give you a little walkthrough and introduce you to some of the things you can do with this template and how it works. Now, right now I've got open uh, in Adobe InDesign the um, title page for our premise template. This one is in the 6 inch by 9 inch trim size, which is a pretty standard size. And this is basically what you would see after you download the template. Uh, if you uh, purchase one and you install the fonts and then you open the template, this is basically what you're going to be seeing. We're in preview mode. If we go into the uh, InDesign's normal mode by clicking this uh, button over here uh, in my tools palette, you'll see the underlying structure of the template, including all the um, invisible codes, paragraph codes, space bars, all that stuff. So uh, these templates are designed for fiction. However, they can be used for uh, lots of different kinds of nonfiction books like memoirs, essays, uh, literary criticism, all kinds of narrative nonfiction that doesn't require a lot of formatting. If you have a book with lots of subheads, pull quotes, uh, sidebars, illustrations, stuff like that, these templates won't be the right ones for you unless you're very familiar with InDesign and can modify them yourself. Uh, but if you've got any kind of fiction or nonfiction that has basically got chapter breaks and uh, running text, uh, these templates are going to work great. So uh, the most amount of formatting in any uh, novel is usually in the front matter, and that's all the stuff before the book itself actually starts. And you can see that we provided you here with a title page, copyright page, contents page. Hey, a lot of novels don't even have a contents page, but if you want one, we've got it there for you. We've also got pages so that you can add a dedication, uh, put a quote at the beginning of your book. Uh, some people like to do that. And then here we are on the chapter opening page for chapter one. And this is your typical looking uh, chapter. It's got a chapter number up here at the top with some uh, curly brackets, a chapter title, and then the uh, text itself starts. Now, the templates come not only pre-designed, but uh, pre-formatted. In other words, we put this sample text in here. For those of you who studied American literature, you probably recognize the beginning of this book, Call Me Ishmael, as the beginning of Herman Melville's Moby Dick. So uh, we put this in here just to show you what it's supposed to look like and give you an idea of how it should end up when you're finished. And uh, the text then runs, uh, we've given you master pages for um, running text pages. You can see this has not been filled out. You can put the author name over there on the left side, your book title on the right side, and then we've got an about the author page at the end. Um, so that is the that is the range of pages in these uh, first six templates we've released, uh, including premise. So what I want to show you is exactly how this works and how you can um, insert your own text and how easy it is to format it and get really incredible results in almost no time at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text out and remember that this chapter style, the design here uses these curly brackets and they're right on your keyboard. So I'm going to take all this text out. I'm going to put my cursor right at the beginning of the chapter here. I'm going to go to the end of the chapter, hold down the shift key and highlight it all. I'm going to hit the delete key. Now that took all the text out and you can see it's now run the about the author page up to where it's not supposed to be. So I'm going to take that out also. We won't need that until we're all finished. And we could just take all of this material out, take the picture out, take that line out, and go back to the beginning of our chapter, which is right here. Now, if you look closely, you'll see there's a little uh, 
character in there, and that's a page break code that InDesign uses, but I'm just going to put my cursor there, and I'm going to format this page break code using our paragraph styles, because you, you can format a paragraph return or a page break code or anything else using paragraph styles, and I'm going to check that it's actually got the body normal. Now this body normal paragraph style uh, is the one that's going to format most of the text in the book, and that's just running paragraphs. So now that I've checked that, I can close the paragraph styles palette. I'm going to put my cursor right here, and I'm going to place uh, my Word document. Now I've got a Word document here, and you can see it right here. It's a very ordinary looking manuscript file. It's got a little formatting, not much. It's mostly just the writing. There's a break here for chapter one and chapter two. It's got titles, all that stuff. So that's the file that we're going to be placing. I'm going to use InDesign's file place command. It's going to ask me to find the chapter. There it is under my working chapters folder, chapter one and two. So I'm going to hit OK and it thinks for just a moment and it's put it in. Now obviously you can see that uh, I put it in but it doesn't look like it's formatted right, does it? And this is a typical thing that happens when you're trying to place text if you're not very familiar with InDesign. However, it's not a problem and the reason for that is that we've got this great paragraph styles and you'll see that the uh, templates, when they arrive, come with a full range of paragraph styles to format almost every kind of paragraph in your book, as well as a range of character styles for applying to specific characters, not whole paragraphs. And we'll see those come into play in a minute. But let's go to our paragraph styles. Now, I'm going to go to this chapter one, and you'll remember that in the design, we didn't use the word chapter, we only used the number. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to add in the curly brackets with a space around them right from the keyboard. I'm going to take out these extra paragraph returns because in Adobe InDesign we don't use paragraph returns for spacing. And um, so now I've got discrete paragraphs. You can see each paragraph is indicated by having a paragraph marker at the end of it. So that makes this a discrete paragraph. Here's another one. And so I can now apply these paragraph styles. Now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the chapter number style in this case. And I'm going to hold down the shift and option keys when I click that. And you'll see that that absolutely erases all the previous formatting that had mistakenly been brought over from Microsoft Word and applied to this text and uh, formats it exactly the way it was in our template. I'm going to go here to the chapter title and I'll find on our list a chapter title paragraph style. Again, I'm going to hold down the shift and option keys and click that and you'll see that it instantly formats it into the style, the type style, the size, the orientation, it's centered, the spacing, above and below spacing, has all been applied in one click. That's fast, but that's not nearly as fast as the next one I'm going to do. Now if you remember, the opening of this chapter had a big drop cap initial, and it had a lead-in in in small caps. That's a fair amount of formatting, and if you have a lot of chapters in your book, that could take a lot of time. Last week I formatted a novel for a client of mine, and he had 54 chapters. Yeah, that's a lot of chapters. So you can imagine doing all this stuff 54 times. It would take you a lot of time, and it's the kind of time that's not very enjoyable. You're doing the same thing over and over again. So what we're going to do is the exact same thing I did for these two paragraphs. I'm going to come here and use the body first para style. This is, indicates it's the first paragraph in the chapter. I'm going to hold the shift and option keys down, and I'm going to click that name and watch what happens. Okay, so you can see that this paragraph style within it has contained the drop cap, the uh, lead-in here, the small cap lead-in that's letter spaced out, and it set the type with all of the parameters that have been uh, incorporated in the body, uh, all these body paragraph styles. It's a certain size, a certain typeface, certain kinds of hyphenation rules, 
a lot of uh, parameters are, are buried in each of these styles. Now you can see that if I simply click here and go to the rest of the chapter, I can highlight the whole rest of the chapter and click the body normal style in the exact same way and it will format this perfectly. I can keep doing this uh, as long as I've got more paragraphs to to format. Now I've got chapter one completely finished. Uh, that didn't take very long, did it? No, it didn't. And you can see that I could keep doing this as we go from chapter to chapter. Now this book is set up so the um, we can have chapters either beginning on the next page or beginning on the next right hand or odd numbered page and that's totally a stylistic concern that's up to you. We could easily begin this chapter uh, on, on the next page and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to switch tools and I'm going to click this little box on the bottom of you can see every frame, text frame in InDesign has a little control box here and this indicates how the text flows from page to page. If I click this, I'm going to get the rest of the text in my cursor, and you can see it there. I'm going to come to the page I want it on, and I'm going to place my cursor in the corner here, hold down the Option key, and click. You see it now moved the text, so it now goes from this page to the next available page. Now, I'm now going to show you how uh, these master pages come into play. You can see that this template comes with two master pages, a text master and a chapter opening master. So obviously, since this is the opening of chapter two, I'm going to use the chapter opening master. And this is page number four. So I'm going to um, highlight this page number four using the pages palette menu. I'm going to use Apply Master to Page, and I'm going to select the chapter opening page to apply to page four. You can see that it uh, formats it. I can adjust my text frame. It puts the page number on the bottom just the way it's supposed to. Now, we also need to change page five because this is the wrong master. So what we want here is the A master. That's the text master for most of the pages and I can do this exactly the same way again. Go to this little control box, find the apply to masters page and say that on five I want text master A and hit OK. Now sometimes like in this case you have to readjust these frame sizes but that's OK. Okay so now we have exactly the same situation. We have to take out the extra paragraph returns. We have to take out the word chapter because we're not using it. We're going to put the curly brackets and spaces around this number, if I can get it right. And then we're going to go to our paragraph styles palette and say this is our chapter number, holding down shift option uh, chapter number. Take out the extra returns. We never use returns or tabs for spacing in InDesign. That's a, a, a rule, you might call it. I'm going to shift option click chapter title. I'm going to put my cursor in this first paragraph and do shift option body first para. Man that is fast and now I'm going to format all the rest of this text body normal and it keeps coming in. I can do this all day and um, you can see here that I now need to add another page because I'm at the bottom of the document. Okay, so that's very easy. I'm on page five. I'm going to go back to the pages palette, open up the control menu, and say insert pages. I'm going to insert one page after page five based using the A text master. Okay, so here's our new page. And now I'm going to go back again and click that box. You can see the text control box on this frame is actually in red. The text control box on this page is in blue. The red means that there's more text that wouldn't fit. So if I click in there, I can pick up the text, hold the Option key down, drop it on this page, and um, that's all we need to do. I can go back to my formatting work and put my cursor in here 
format this all as body normal, option shift click. Uh, looks like we've still got more text, so we can do uh, body normal, option shift click. And uh, that should be pretty much the end of it. You can tell when you've placed all the text because the little red box will disappear. So in other words, in a few minutes here, what you've seen me do is take out the uh, dummy text, you might call it, although Herman Melville wouldn't like us calling his work dummy text. I've inserted my Microsoft Word document. I've used master pages and paragraph styles, and I've now formatted two chapters of my book. If this book was 10 chapters, I'd be 20% finished. So that's just a small introduction to the power of these templates. You know, we try to uh, both use the power of InDesign while keeping it fairly simple so that people who are not InDesign experts don't get overwhelmed with the automation and the very, very powerful tools that InDesign gives you. I'm going to go back into preview mode, close my palette here, and you can see that we have a very f beautiful looking uh, perfectly formatted, consistent, industry standard book interior, and it hasn't taken us but a few minutes. So stop over at uh, Book Design Templates, check out our new, six new uh, Adobe InDesign templates for fiction and narrative nonfiction. I think you're really going to like them.